Let's turn it over to Monica Crowley, former assistant treasury secretary. So it's bad, isn't it, Monica? It's really, really bad. I mean, it's clear that the Democrats appear to be on the horns of a dilemma, uh, Jesse, because they've made so much progress with their radical Great Reset for the United States that they realize that they really can't afford to lose the next presidential election like they lost in 2016 to Donald Trump. They consider those four years under Trump lost years that they now need to make up. So they've got to run someone very strong in 2024. Um, and they're taking a look at the top of their ticket here, and they've got a president who clearly doesn't know what planet he's on most of the time. And they've got Kamala Harris, an historically unpopular vice president, who's like in a constant state of nervous breakdown. I mean, you know the idea of the imposter syndrome, where you're constantly living in fear and you're a nervous wreck because someone might point out that you're a fraud? Well, every time she giggles or turns to a head of state because she clearly doesn't know what she's doing or what she's saying, she shows us that, in fact, she is an imposter. So the Democrats have a real problem on their hands. They have to get rid of not one, yeah. but both of the people at the top of the possible ticket, including the sitting president and the sitting vice president. Yeah, and they might realize that the FBI might get rid of Joe Biden for them, and then that leaves Kamala, who can't hack it. So they're scrambling right now. Um, yep. How do you think this makes Kamala feel? Because you have the Washington Post. Liz Warren is one thing. And then you have the Washington Post. They just don't take calls from random Democrats who want to feed them things. The Washington Post has yeah. to assign a reporter to say, go out and talk to Democrat officials all across the country and ask them if they think Kamala has what it takes. And then they have to frame right. that story the way they framed it. This was a designated hit. What does that tell you? Just like the classified document, a scandal on Joe Biden is also an organized hit on him. You would not know about Joe Biden's classified documents, Jesse, if the deep, deep state didn't want you to know about them. Likewise, with these stories, they're being seeded in the nation's top newspapers about what a chronic mess uh, Kamala Harris is. So she should be very worried that he's not just being pulled out in a vaudeville-like uh, move, but so is is she. And so the question is, what are the left's power brokers going to do? Who are they going to replace not one, but two people with? And you and I have talked about this before. I think that the most dangerous uh, choice for the Republicans, but the clearest choice for the Democrats, someone who solves all of these issues, woman, person of color, etc., is Michelle Obama. Yeah. You're going to make me have nightmares, please. Let's just let's go to commercial. <laughs> Monica Crowley, thank you so much. Thanks, Jesse. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.